Hey guys, this is Sal the Carpenter here with the new Rigid R45171. I had it in my shop now for about a month, and let me tell you some of the good and bad with it. So, as you can see, it's pretty small. I mean, that's obviously the good um, for small shops. The it has feet on the end here for standing it up on edge when you're using it, transporting it, um, lays nice and flat. Good power switch, same location as most that are out today. I do like the bevel lock, which you push in and then crank to turn, which is nice. Um, a lot better than some other saws where you're just relying on moving it around. Now, for some of the bad. The rail has basically these two plastic feet that are not adjustable on the bottom of them. Um, that catch in here. I do not think those are going to last on a job site. I think you drop that rail once or twice, those are going to break off. Um, the rail itself came, the fence I should say, came out of square from the factory. Um, it took me about an hour to get it somewhat square and it's been pretty good since. Um, it comes with a this up here, so you can see. Comes with a pretty rough blade, which I wouldn't use for anything other than general grip lumber for maybe framing. Definitely not a finished board. Um, now that the fence is out of the way, I do like that you can just pop that up. I do keep a riving knife in all my saws. This one is a little tricky to work with sometimes, but it's got a quick knob there, loosen to pull it higher so that you can use the fence. I uh, mean, use the uh, use the protective uh, rails, um, protect the blade and your hands from getting close. Has the anti-kickback poles also that snap on the back. I can't use them because I just like my blade up just high enough. And if you notice, once you start going lower and lower, those contacts in the back for where everything clicks in, you'd have to have the riving knife up high to use them. Again, not the end of the world, but it requires a lot of steps to switch between a full kerf, you know, cut, uh, full kerf rip versus a, say, doing a rabbit or even a dado kind of cut out. But, uh, so that's some of the good and the bad with it. Um, soft start motor, very helpful. Um, even in my small shop, I do trip a breaker every once in a blue moon. So it's nice to have that. Um, it does come with a halfway decent uh, miter gauge and a good slot to keep it in. I'm not a fan of those type of push sticks because they push your hand too close to the blade uh, if it ever snapped. Um, surprisingly, the dust collection was actually awesome when I first got this saw. But after about a week, it's like it wasn't even connected to anything. And I have a uh, one and a half horse dust uh, collector that it was connected to in my shop. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. Place for blade storage, uh, cord wrap, your uh, standard wrenches and stuff. But uh, so that's about it. I mean, the good and the bad with it is uh, it's good power. It didn't bog down once in all the time I used it. Um, plywoods, softwoods, hardwoods, maple, uh, oak, um, and that's, that's what it, uh, comes down to. But, um, the big drawback was the fence, in my opinion. Uh, everything else I could probably live with. But, uh, that's the rigid R45171.